At Abermouth, Genico are running a proof of concept utilising biogas in vehicles. We decided to use a vehicle as proof of concept because of a previous event we ran with Resource Futures at Bath University. We ran a course with 150 students looking at marketing and how they would design a car and they came up with a clever idea of we've actually got bugs in the digesters so why don't we have a bug on the road? Hence we've got the biobug. We've had a huge range of people involved in the project. We've had hard staff haulage who come from Nottingham and they've helped us with the storage on site. But additional to that we've had the PR people and we've had purchasing but also especially we've got Graham Richards on site who's really developed the actual engineering for us. We've also had BRC, a local company in Bath, that have converted the car to run on biogas. This is a very exciting project and we were absolutely delighted to be invited by Genico to, to join in the project. Our company is one of the leading importers of LPG and CNG systems in the UK and we also convert uh, a lot of cars to run on gas. converted to run on biogas relatively easily, retains its petrol system almost completely, so you can run on either petrol or biogas, which is a great advantage to the driver. The systems that we put on, uh, we just add some injectors, a microprocessor controller, and of course some fuel tanks to the vehicle. LPG is mainly propane, um, and biogas is mainly methane. And the difference is that the um, methane needs to be compressed much, much more than, uh, than LPG does. But essentially, they do the same job. We reckon the biogas car will run about 230 miles on a full tank of, of fuel. The big advantage is going to be that the fuel costs will be much, much lower than your conventional fuels. One of the unique things about this project is that we're purifying the gas to 99.9% methane. This means that we can use it as a direct replacement for the petrol. We don't get any loss in performance and also it doesn't do any damage to the engines. The biogas for this project is produced at Avonmouth. It comes from digestion of sewage sludge. The sewage comes into the works, it runs through the process and is put into digesters for two weeks. We take the methane off that. The methane is then put into storage vessels and then purified into pressurised containers which we can then use to fuel the vehicle. At the moment there's limited access to biogas or compressed natural gas around the country for use in cars or vehicles. So we can only fuel this car up at Avonmouth. It costs about £1,500 to convert a, a normal petrol engine to a biogas or a methane combustion engine. It's taken us six months to get to this stage in the project where we actually had a car on the road running on biogas. At the moment there are very few biogas cars, if any, on the roads in Britain. There are a lot more in Europe and, and wider in the world, but the government have started to back the project and the policy of using biogas and renewable fuels in cars so by early next year we'll start to see a lot more cars on the road.